Okay, so this is how to write KC expressions with units for homogeneous equilibria. Now, what do we mean by homogeneous? That's where each of your chemicals is in the same physical state. So each of my chemicals here is in the gaseous state, so homogeneous. So how would we write a KC expression for this? Well, in general, KC is the concentration of your products raised to the power of their molar ratio, the big number in the equation, divided by the concentration of the reactants raised to their molar ratio. So let's apply that to this question. Kc will equal my products, which is SO2 gas and O2 gas. And these square brackets, they represent the concentration of. So what I've written here is the conch of SO2 multiplied by the conch of O2. So there's no plus sign there. Each of these conchs are multiplied together. And we're going to divide that by SO3 gas. And let's not forget our molar ratios. I have two moles here and two moles there. In terms of our units, for each of these conchs, I'm going to call this a term. So we have three concentration terms on the top, two and one, and two concentration terms on the bottom. So three terms on the top, two on the bottom. For each of those terms, I'm going to write out moles per decimeter cubed, which of course is the units of concentration. So three on the top and two on the bottom. We can then cancel. So that'll cancel with that, that'll cancel with that. And what does that leave me with? Just moles per decimeter cubed. So that would be the units for this particular KC expression. For this next one, if you could pause the video, have a crack yourself. So try and do the KC expression, try and calculate the units. And once you've finished, press play again and I'll go through the answer. Hello, welcome back. So we've got Kc equals ammonia, this is the harbour process by the way, over N2 gas, H2 gas, and again don't forget those molar ratios, three hydrogens and two ammonias. So if you bear with me I'll write out all those moles per decimeter cubes. So two on the top, as I have two terms on the top, and four on the bottom. See how quickly I can do this. Not bad. And then we're going to cancel, 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 cancel. And that will leave us with the number one on the top. But we can't just have these terms on the bottom separate like that. So we're going to need to group these conchs together. So I've got moles and moles, so that will give me 1 over moles squared. Decimeters to the minus 3, decimeters to the minus 3, that will give me decimeters to the minus 6. So I've grouped my conchs together. We then need to flick these to the top of the fraction. And the way we do that is by reversing the sign of the power. So moles squared becomes moles to the minus 2. Decimeters to the minus 6 becomes decimeters to the 6. And then usually we put positive powers first. So I'm just going to rewrite this with my positive power first. 